A long, long time ago, far away from the humans, the gods and goddesses lived happily in Mount Olympus. Among them, there lived one handsome young man named Orpheus. Orpheus was the son of Apollo and Calliope, the muse. Apollo gave his son a lyre and taught him how to play. Orpheus did to such perfection that even Apollo was surprised. The music he played was magical. It is said that nothing could resist to his music and melody, neither friends nor enemies or beasts. Even trees and rocks were entranced with his music. One day, Orpheus saw Eurydice, a woman of unique beauty. They fell in love and they got married. Hymen, the god of marriage, was called to bless them. But as soon as Hymen saw them, he knew that their marriage was not going to last long. What Hymen predicted soon came true. One day, while Eurydice was roaming in the garden, she was bitten in the foot by a venomous snake. Eurydice died immediately of the wound. Orpheus was speechless with grief. Orpheus sang his grief with his lyre and managed to move everything, living or not, on the world. Both humans and gods were deeply touched by his sorrow and grief. Apollo advised Orpheus to go to the underworld and request Hades to meet Eurydice. Nobody could enter the underworld except when they were dead. But Orpheus was under the protection of gods. Armed only with his lyre, the gift of Apollo, he descended into the gloomy depths of Hades. He managed to charm Cerebrus, the three-headed dog, with his divine music. When he came to the river Styx, Charon the ferryman glared coldly at him demanding how a mortal dared enter the realms of Hades. Orpheus started playing such sad, touching strains that Charon begged him to cease. Tears were falling from the eyes of the dark boatman as he hastily guided his boat across the river. Orpheus finally presented himself in front of the god of the underworld, Hades, and his wife, Persephone. Orpheus started playing for them, and even the cold heart of Hades started melting due to the melodies coming from Orpheus's lyre. Hades told Orpheus that he could take Eurydice with him, but under one condition. Eurydice would follow him while walking out to the light from the caves of the underworld, but he should not look at her before coming out to the light because he would lose her forever. Orpheus was delighted he thanked the gods and left to ascend to the world. He was trying to hear Eurydice's steps, but he could not hear anything, and he started believing that the gods had fooled him. Eurydice was behind him, but as a shadow, waiting to come to light to become a full woman again. When Orpheus was a few feet away from the exit, he lost his faith and turned to see. As soon as he turned, her shadow was whisked back to the dead. Eurydice was now gone forever. Orpheus tried to return to the underworld, but a man cannot enter the Hades twice, not alive anyway. The myth of Orpheus and Eurydice is one of the most famous and beloved Greek myths. A myth about love and passion and also about the weakness of the human spirit.
Thank you.